Well, hey, and welcome back to Conversations at the Soul Cafe. Glad you joined us. In this first week of our podcast, we've been exploring the biblical concept of renewal or revival. And we're going to extend that conversation today by looking at the 85th Psalm. So if you have a Bible nearby, you may want to grab it, or if not, find a mobile device or app. And if you don't have one of those nearby, then uh, just listen carefully, especially if you're driving, as we look at Psalm 85, verses 1 through 7. Psalm 85, verses 1 through 7. You, Lord, showed favor to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sins. You set aside all your wrath and turn from your fierce anger. Restore us again, God our Savior, and put away your displeasure toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger through all generations? Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation." Now, when we think about renewal or revival, whether that's in a corporate context, such as in a local church or a gathering of people who are seeking God together, or whether it's an individual life, we must also begin with this biblical concept of salvation. So we're going to start with the last word in the text that we just read and work backwards from there. When you hear the word salvation, what do you think of? Well, perhaps you think of that moment in time or that season in one's life where they come to faith in Christ uh, or make a public profession of that faith before others. And oftentimes when we talk of salvation, um, it, it is perceived to be that salvation is enclosed within that one event, that that settles everything once and for all. Now we can explore that you know, theologically and biblically on another day, and we'll have a series of conversations about that. Um, but in a sense, it is true that um, just as physical birth is essential to physical life, spiritual birth is essential to the spiritual life. There will be no spiritual life in Christ without the new birth. Jesus made that very clear. But to talk about salvation in the context or the sense of that one singular event is to not understand God's desire uh, in working salvation into our lives and for its holistic uh, effect upon us. And so when we think of salvation, we think of not only that beginning of coming to faith in Christ, we recognize that before that beginning, there is God at work in us, um, in our lives, before we ever come to Jesus to help prepare the way for that moment when, when uh, we do embrace Christ as Savior and Lord. But then beyond that, there is the work of God in our life in restoring God's original intention uh, to our lives of his life in us. That was broken, of course, in the garden way back in the book of Genesis when Adam and Eve turned to their own way and rejected their fellowship with God as a result of their sin. And that each of, I, each of you and I inherit that sin nature, that propensity, that, that inevitability that we will act in such a way ourselves at some point in our lives at which time the Holy Spirit begins to work within us to convict us of sin so that we can come to Christ. But then what do we do after that? Do we just simply live in sin so that one day we can go to heaven and it'll all be okay? No, that's, that's not God's intention for us. In fact, God's intention for us is that he would restore us to the life that Adam and Eve had before sin came into the picture, and that God would so work his salvation into us that our entire being, our attitudes, our emotions, our relationships, our vocations, everything in us can become a reflection of God's original intention for humanity and that uh, God would work his salvation out through every pore, through every cell, uh, through, through every bit of our being so that we can reflect the salvation uh, that God wants for us, which is uh, reflected in wholeness. And uh, that wholeness brings a sense of joy to our life because we know that we are operating uh, in the design for which we were intended. And so we know that if that is God's desire in us, that there's those seasons in our lives where God breaks in and breaks through. I, I call them divine break-ins, where the Spirit of God comes and meets us in our places of, um, 
uh, of lack in our places of need. Sometimes it's God's Spirit confronting us in a place of sin where we are in um, rebellion to what we know to be God's will for our lives and, and where we are at odds with God's intention to save us fully. Um, it may be in simply in times of complacency, and it may be in times where things have become routine and, and where we've lost that sense of fervor and passion and that sense of intentionality about our walk with God. But these spiritual break-ins happen throughout our lives in a variety of ways and in a variety of times. So I want to ask you today as we go to prayer, what are the places in your life where you need to be renewed and refreshed, where joy needs to be restored to your life? And if that's your desire today, I hope you'll join me in this prayer that we will um, ask God to break in to our lives and uh, to renew and restore us to the joy of our salvation. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you today for this opportunity in these few minutes to come to the Soul Cafe and be reminded of how deeply you love us and how much you want to work your salvation into us. Lord, forgive us for cheapening your grace by making it transactional as we so often have. But, but help us to see the salvation that you provide for us and that you work in us and that you invite us to experience and to enjoy uh, is, is one of a full work of your grace in our heart so that uh, we are once again made into that likeness of Christ through the work of your Holy Spirit. So God, we, uh, we ask today that in those places of our lives where we may have fallen into uh, uh, despair, we may have just hit places of, of complacency, or Lord, we may, where we may have willingly wandered off into idolatry, into self-interest. Lord, would you restore us today? Revive us again, that we may know the joy of your salvation. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today, and we'll see you again tomorrow at the Soul Cafe.